What's going on guys, T-Tor is back here for another video. So today's video is going to be quite interesting. I'm gonna be installing my DSP5 switch. Along with that, we're gonna be uh, using this AutoCal. Uh, I got PPEI by Corey Willis Tuning. So the DSP5 switch I have, um, I believe it's 30, 60, 100, 120, and 150 on the uh, position switch. So um, currently, the setup on the truck is I have the WC Fab intake, uh, hot side inter intercooler piping. Uh, you can't see right now, but I do have a downpipe, and then I have the uh, Flow Pro 5 inch exhaust. If you missed that video, make sure you go check that out. Um, and then prior to uh, making this video, I actually went ahead and flashed the truck. I called PPEI, and um, if you don't have the DSP5 switch installed, it automatically defaults to the 30 horse tune. I was having some troubles uh, with this intake, it was throwing uh, codes and the truck was wanting to regen, uh, regen and stuff. So I went ahead and flashed the truck and then everything is running perfectly fine. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to flash your truck and then show you all how to uh, install the DSP-5. Corey here, he's That's gonna nice. help us do it. All right guys, so this is where I'm going to mount my switch. I want it here in the uh, little ashtray. I want it, you know, hidden, conspicuous where no one can see it. You know, case, you know, the, the truck, I do sell the truck one day. I don't want any holes any of these panels are not. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna unscrew this and uh, go ahead and drill out the holes for the DSP-5 switch to be mounted. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this inner fender lining so we can get to the uh, actual computer itself and get everything unplugged. And then I'll show you um, what pins that we need to install the DSP-5 switch. Once we get the pins installed, you can push a button on the back and if it lights up greens, then that means you have good connection. All right guys, so we now pulled out this piece of plastic. We're gonna mount the switch so it sits inside here and what Corey has in his hand is or the uh you have a drill template drill template as it shows right right meow let me see if i can get this bad boy to focus on all right so three eighths is obviously for the, the switch itself and then Corey, um there's a point at that other piece this is just a like a switch anchor so you drill a hole here and this sits in there that just keeps your switch from moving when you're going from tune to tune so yeah so obviously they give you one for that also that's the one that's for the eighth and then 3 is for the actual switch. Correct. So, yeah, there's actual five positions. And then as you can see right here for the LMM, uh, get this bad boy to focus. Connector one, uh, pin 46 and pin 54. And then once we get that switch in there, like I said, the back of the switch uh, has a little tester. Um, hold that up and show them where that tester. It has an actual tester right there. You push the button and it has a, it has a LED that lights up green or red if you uh, have a good connection or not. Perfect. That's a pilot hole to get it started. All right, so as you can see, this hole right here is actually for the switch, and that was for the, uh, what do you call that hole? It's the uh, anchor, switch anchor. The switch anchor. All right, so pop that puppy in there. This hole looks like that because we know the right size drill bits, and on it, we had to do it. The so best yeah, it's my fault. We had, to, we had to wall her out a little bit there, boy. And when people don't think, I just can't see. <laughs> All right, so switch is in there. So now we'll put the cover on there with your tunes. All right. All right, so since we got our you know pilot holes drilled and we know where our switch is going, the next thing you want to do is you want to remove these two. Uh, you want to pull this clip up and pull this clip up also, and then remove these two out, and then I'll show you uh, what pins you want to insert your DSP5 connectors into. All right, so as I mentioned in the last clip, what we went ahead and did is the computer is held in uh, with these two tabs here so Corey held the held the tabs out and what I did it allowed us to get the computer free because we were running into an issue where that hot side intercooler popping wasn't allowing us to relieve the first clip so now as you can see we have uh, the two connectors out of the computer itself so next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this plastic casing off and then we're going to locate pin 46 and pin 54 and wire up the DSP5 and make sure we get the green light on the back of the switch, meaning that we have good connection. You wanna take you a little flathead screwdriver and you wanna pry this top handle piece off and that's gonna allow you to get to the back side yes. of uh, all the wiring. And once you locate where your pins are gonna be at, you're gonna remove this pink tab, put your pins in, put the pink tab back in and that's what holds all your wires uh, sure to the actual connector itself. So. Clips are up? Yeah, so you, you can get, point to them. You got four clips on here to get that top cover off. There's one here, there's one here, one here and one here. 
And the then, front ones, if the front ones are broke, if this is broke on the front, actually, yeah, these are broke. So if they're like this, you can just pull them out. Okay. They'll pull right out. Corey's gonna go ahead and remove that pink tab. That's gonna allow all the wires to be loose so we can insert the pins into the correct slots. And then once you have your, your um, pins uh, pinpointed, and you have it in there, put that pink tab back in there and it's gonna securely lock all the pins into place. All right, so the paper wire on the DSP-5, if you're looking at the switch, looking at the uh, plug, look right here, you'll see 24 right there. Come down here, this will be 48. 47, 46, three from the left, third one from the left, it's right here. What color wires is it next to on the back side? On the back side, it's in between. It's in between your brown wire right here and this green wire. There's an empty cannon hole plug. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and plug that puppy in. Uh, yeah. I know showing you on the actual connector is kind of confusing. So here is a better uh, diagram that I found online that I printed out for this install. So as you can see here. That's going to be your first pin, uh, 46, that's going to be for your power, and then your ground on your DSP-5 is going to be uh, 54. This is if you're looking at the connector straight forward, just like that. So the best, the best we can show you um, is here. So we have the ground is in pin, uh, what is that, 50? 54. 54, and then our power is in pin... 40 uh 46 so that's that's the best we can do so we're going to plug the plug everything back in and then the little trick that i was talking about is you can push this button if she lights up green that means we've got good connection and then the rest should be easy from here we'll just you know we're going to go through the firewall and install the dsp5 blah 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 all that stuff i'll show you guys that here in just a minute all right we got a little bit ahead of ourselves <laughs> we didn't even actually run the daggum switch through the truck so now we're going to show you how we're going to run, uh, run the switch uh, through the truck and then as you've already seen the connector, so yeah. All right, so there is a hole already in the firewall. Corey is pointing at it. That's where you're gonna run your DSP-5 switch through, so it should be pretty simple. And there's already other stuff ran through it, right? Yeah, you just pull this cover off. Once you pull this cover off, this blocker here, you can just push up. I don't think this one's ever been out. There's two, ta two tabs at the top. Squeeze those tabs, pull it towards you. And then this should push up. Just like that. Give you more room. Yep, up out of the way. Just be careful, try not to bust any of these wires or break on these wires are brittle if your truck's older. All right, cool. Pull it right there. So you can pull this rubber grommet out and push your wires through. What I usually do is I take a pin. If you don't have the tool, there's actually a tool to run the wire through. I'll take a pin push through here take all the guts out of the pin where it's just the tube push the wires through once i get the wires through pull the pin the pin uh, body out the other side it'll just help you run your wires a lot easier than just trying to push it through this rubber but if you don't have one of them you don't want to make one you can just take a knife or something push through here and then you can just push your wires through that way art to give you guys a better look at what we did that's where we went through the firewall at as you can see we have both our power and our ground wire are now through the firewall Boom, right there is where we ran the uh, wires from inside the cab. All right, so everything is ran under the under the hood. Computer's back in, as you can see right here. We're gonna go ahead and push, uh, push the little tab on the back. Uh, too much light, let's see. As you can see right there, very va vaguely by the fish, we have the green light, so that's how we know the DSP-5 is connected and we have good connection. So everything here is right back up computer everything's plugged back in and then we uh put we put in the the shroud itself the actual wires for the dsp5 switch so now we're going to go ahead and mount everything back in and i'll show you guys uh once we get everything plugged back into the little cover piece on what uh what everything looks like all right so we got the switch and everything installed uh we weren't able to use that slot right there so don't be hating we had to use the allen head because once you put this on there there's no way to get to the allen head to tighten it up so one two three four five she's ready to go so we're about to hop in the truck here in a second, get her all get her all buttoned up, and then uh, we're gonna flip through the flip through the, the tunes and see what she'll do. I'm gonna put a GoPro out here on the back of the muffler. Out here on the back of the muffler. If you guys have any suggestions on what tip I should get, I definitely want to get a nice chrome tip. Uh, but yeah, comment down below on what tip uh, I should get.
back to my pulse flat We keep it real, no false rap I got four cars and they all black Got four bras and they all that We call that ballin' Doing this since